What's good, everybody? This your main correspondent out here, Alan Taylor, and baby, we are back again in the broadcast room. Oh, yeah, man. Listen, look, man, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we're talking yet again. You know, the, the young lady, man, uh, you know, that got uh, deleted in Mexico, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, real talk, you know, uh, the, the young lady, what's that, uh, Danae? Denasia Jackson, you know what I'm saying? She even got arrested, so they caught one. So they didn't caught one. Let's go there. They didn't caught one. You know what I'm saying? She about to go see what they she about to go see what that Mexican prison talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know, real though. That's what she about to do. You know what I'm saying? She about to go see what that Mexican prison talking about. So we about to go here first, you know what I'm saying? I got a, you know, a, a couple of lineups, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Sean Denise, and then I got the lead attorney, and then behind, the, well, also with that, I got the, you know what I'm saying, a, a report from the, the new situation. So, you know what I'm saying? We about to go here. Let's report all the things that we need to know. Now, I hope this ain't the girl that, um, no offense, that just speaks in Spanish, because obviously that's not going to help us, right? Um, so... Let's play her. Let's see what she got to say. Hopefully she could, you know, give us some great insight. But um, if you cannot hear, let me know. Um, and I'm going to read it to you guys, OK? I'm going to read it to you because it's about to hit the Mexican media right now, um, specifically Metropolimex, OK, Gerardo's uh, publication. Just so you guys are aware, hear me out, OK? It says, um, during the night, of uh, November 28th, Dejanay Jackson was arrested by Interpol agents after a control judge issued an arrest. Ooh, she had Interpol on her ass. Man, y'all don't understand how dangerous that shit really get, man. In Interpol? Man, Interpol could do whatever with you that they want to do with you. It don't fucking matter. That's Interpol. Like, they, they are worldwide. Interpol is a worldwide organization designed by, basically, by the UN, which is the government of the world, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. Interpol is some serious shit, man. It's warrant against her for the crime of femicide in tort, uh, towards Shankela Robertson. Murdered on November on October 29th in Cabo Villa complex in the tourist destination. Dejanay Jackson was placed in the federal custody, waiting for her to begin her extradition pro process to Mexico. Okay, where she will be formally accused of femicide of the 25-year-old uh, businesswoman. Okay, the extradition process took between one to two weeks, resulting from the from the procedure that the Attorney General Office of Justice carried out in the Attorney General Office of the Republic and this in turn to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mexico, okay? The Attorney General Office of the State of Baja California Sur managed to prove that the woman who appeared in the video attacking Shanquella Robertson is precisely Dejanay Jackson, a Metropolimex reporter at the time. So Gerardo gave me a call Call me. He said, listen, I had a meeting, had some information. This is about to hit the medias. This is what is going to be printed here pretty soon, okay? So you guys are, uh, uh, no. And let me let me make sure I, I let him know, yes. So she said, she said Gerardo, y'all. Let's, let's back it on up. And Sandy B, if you would like to come up, please do, you know, to talk f about the law, please, please feel free. Um, okay. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go back, of course. Okay. Well, that's the deal with that one. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, she, she's tied in with the reporters down there in uh, Mexico. You know what I'm saying? They sent, they sent out the warrant. They obviously talked to the government of the United States, period. They obviously talked to them. You know, let's just keep it real. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause, uh, cause guess what? Cause guess what? What this shit is? Great Scott. I know this is heavy. Hey, 
Hey, and that shit is 100 per fucking cent, man. It's just real. Let, you know what I'm saying? Let's go here real quick. You know what I'm saying? We about to check this out. You know what I'm saying? Here we go again. Disturbing to show went viral, showing a woman beating Robinson, who was naked and not fighting back, while other friends watched and filmed nearby. My daughter, she suffered, man. The last breath she took, she suffered. All right, there go our pops again. There go our pops. You know, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna give him a shout out. Real talk. Hold on. There we go. Well, I'm gonna give him a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand that as a father or daughter, so I get it. You know, and real you talk. Sit there and watch. A local police report shows friends called for medical help just after 2 p.m., saying Robinson he, had, quote, and he's supposed to have been friends, like, drunk a lot of alcohol. When the doctor arrived and suggested she be taken to a hospital, she told police Robinson's friends refused and insisted on keeping her at the resort. Mr. Robinson says her friends called Shanquilla's mother that night. So, okay, that lets me know right there. That lets me know right there. And that, that should let you know that if a person, if if they're, if medical teams need to be on scene and a person say no, and your friends say no, nah, well, you can't even speak for yourself at the moment because you incapacitated. They done done some shit to you that, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to get found out. And let's just keep, let, man, let's just keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100, man. To say she was being treated for alcohol poisoning. An autopsy report released days later states Robinson died of a severe spinal cord injury and neck trauma at around 3 p.m. As we know now. All six friends returned to the United States. Mexican authorities are they now seeking did. the extradition of a single female suspect. John Jay College law professor Dmitry Shaknovich says the process now lies in the hands of the U.S. justice system. They will engage in their own due process to see if this person that is alleged to have committed a crime should be extradited. What do you want to see happen? I want the truth, man. I just want them to get back over there and tell the Mexicans. One thing that's pissing me off, that's pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> what is alleged? Alleged and we got video footage and you want to talk about alleged? What the hell is you talking about? Hold on, because guess what? Great Scott. I know this is heavy. And you want to play with me? <laughs> nah, you ain't finna play with me. You know what I'm saying? Alleged. Man, cut the crap. Authorities, why they did what they did. I can't even be a grandfather. I can't even walk it down the aisle, man. The only thing I can do is cherish the moments that we had the 25 years while she was here on this earth. His only child. Robinson's death is being investigated by Mexican authorities as a femicide or the killing of a woman because of her gender. The FBI has said that they have opened an investigation into the death as well. And at this hour, it remains unclear whether those who witnessed the fight may also be in legal jeopardy. I hope they are. I, I saw the video for the first time. My niece showed it Disturbing. To over vacation. It is so upsetting. And you can hear them yelling at her saying, fight back, fight yeah. back. If the arrest warrant is for the woman who we see in the video, she needs to be sent over to Mexico sooner rather than later. It's so outrageous. And I think dad is right. If it wasn't for that video, right. they might have gotten away with the story that they initially. Hey, this the beast, man. This is the fucking beast. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, I don't I don't agree with, you know, Gail on a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you know, real talk. But, you know, on this particular moment, yeah, I do. She needs to get her they need to send her ass on over there, which we already know she about to snitch for real. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, let's keep it, let's keep it trio. Let's keep it 100. Can we keep can we keep it, you know, a little bit 100 though? Um, you know, right here. And this is the 100 right here. You know what I'm saying? The thing of it is, is that, you know what I'm saying? 
they had already plotted that shit out before the cameras got turned on. This was not a fight that just broke out. You know what I'm saying? Because when shit just pops off, you know, it's the, you talking about in a tight circle of friends. Think about this shit now. A tight circle of friends, y'all together, you know, a number amount of friends. This is not a large crowd of people. They filmed this shit within a room. So, you know what I'm saying? This is not a lot of... This is not a large crowd of people. Tight knit shit situations like that. When when shit pops off amongst friends, fights and stuff like that. No. True friends rush to break up the shit because we already know we friends. This not supposed to go down like that. Ain't nobody want to talk about that angle of the situation because everybody want to, you know what I'm saying? Everybody would just want to be fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I, you know, no, uh, uh. Everybody just want to be stupid. Like this shit a game, man. Like this shit a game. Here we go. We about to, you know, what I'm saying, and you know, I'm, you know of course, y'all already see it. The lead attorney in the joint, you know. So, uh, here we go. How long do you think this is gonna take to get the aggressor, the murderer, to Mexico? He says, well, based on our experience, all that's needed is for the completion of the necessary paperwork, right? So we're doing the, the documents for Interpol uh, and we have to get our own documents together. So we, we have some internal documents, some state documents, and then there's some legal documents that we need to send out through foreign affairs. And once those documents are all in order, and the Interpol uh, process has started. Interpol is going to locate her, and they are going to bring her to us, and we're going to pick her up at the border. Right? We're going to get her at the border. Once we get her at the border, she is going to be taken to prison. Bingo! See, listen, let me tell y'all something. You don't see. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Oh, y'all must have thought the movies when y'all seen, uh, uh, what's that? The Fast and the Furious movies. You know what I'm saying? Once they got to the, you know, uh, the, what was that? What, what number of trilogy was this? Did you, anyway, anyway. Once they got to the trilogy part where they added Interpol with, uh, The Rock. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Interpol is a real situation in real life. Interpol is a real government. Interpol is a real fucking police. They are the world's police. Interpol can do what the fuck they need to do, but they only deal with the big shit as far as the world. Yeah, you you know, if you're in your neighborhood, your hood or whatever, yeah, you ain't finna see Interpol you know what I'm saying, run up on your dumb ass, you know what I'm saying, unless you done done some uh, a worldwide crime type shit, you know, I mean, let's just keep it real, because you, be honest with you, at that point, you too small for Interpol to even fucking be dealing with, you know what I'm saying, let's just keep it real, at that point, you too small for Interpol to deal with, so, you know, Interpol only deal with international crimes, you know what I'm saying? When, you know, crossing borders and all that type of shit. So, you know, Interpol is a real thing. Oh, y'all just thought that shit was something in a fucking movie. Hey, y'all better wake up out here. When she's taken to prison, she's going to be read the accusations. It's kind of like a first appearance. Between a first and appearance, really, it's a little different. It's not even like a first appearance or an arraignment. It's like a first appearance, an arraignment, and a preliminary hearing all in one, apparently. Because she's going to be read the accusations, but she's also going to be told the evidence that's against her. Then she's going to make a declaration. Now, the declaration is weird. I don't know if y'all ever lived in Mexico, but if you lived in Mexico, you will see... Three men and four, three men and two women lined up against a wall, and they will be in handcuffs. And then there will be police officers on this side and police officers on this side. And then they'll take all the photos and they'll have a table with all the drugs and the guns, and they'll be taking pictures and video. Okay, so so my my understanding is, of course, because you know what I'm saying we live in America, 
you know, and, you know, in America, our shit work a little bit different. Well, you know, a little bit, you know, our shit work a lot different over here in America. So my interest is, is that, you know, over here in America, when you get charged with a crime, if you don't have the money to get a lawyer, a court appointed lawyer will be provided for you. So now, so now, my interest is, you know what I'm saying, is that when, you know, this dingbat gets down to Mexico, uh, will a court appointed lawyer be provided for her? Hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what? I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? I fucking doubt it. Let's go. Then one of the officers will go up to each one and be like, okay, what's your name? Uh, mi nombre is Jorge Martinez. How old are you? I'm 32. You know, what did you do? Oh, I traffic drugs. <laughs> I mean, in front of everybody. This is so common. Like they all just admit everything. That would never happen in the States. I mean, of course, in America, we admit stuff, but it wouldn't be like on camera and stuff. But this is super common for them. Now, what is the incentive for them just to admit everything? At any rate, guess who's going to be standing in front of that wall? <laughs> what is your name? Dion Janeiro. <laughs> How old are you? 25. Mm-hmm. Is that a wig? What? <laughs> I bought this. Did you kill? Did you murder? She's going to be like, are y'all asking me this? Like, I'm just supposed to admit it with all these cameras? Right. Right. Because this is how they work around. down there. You just want me to say off the strength that I killed her? Right? So that's what Jorge is saying. Jorge is like, she's going to be taken in to give her declaration. Now, so I was like, well, head out of the what? I said Jorge, sorry. Head out of the, I said head out of the what happens if she doesn't want to give her declaration? He said, oh, well, that's no problem. Because they got all the evidence, man. You know, they got the video, they got audio. They got fingerprints, they got traces of blood, they got photos, they got the body. They got everything. They don't need her to say nothing. Really don't, really she don't. Done. He, he said she sunk, she sunk. So I said, well, okay, let's assume that she sunk. Can she, cooperate there were what five other people in that room besides Shanquila can she cooperate can she turn states see whoa he was just for the say hello evidence is that states evidence you know what I'm saying we all know what that means when you turn state evidence that's nothing new you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we know what that shit mean. We've seen movies. We didn't, you know what I'm saying? It, it, we didn't, we, we know what the fuck that shit means. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to play stupid. That's fine. But can she do that down there? That is the damn point. Hold on, hold on. Cause guess what? Cause guess what? This shit is getting great, Scott. I know this is heavy. And that's just for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But can she start and stay? Let, hold on. Not a thing. You know, in Mexico, I mean, in the United States, watch what happens in January when those 30 young brothers in Atlanta go to trial. 30 brothers. Shout out to YSL. Shout out to Young Thug and Ghana. They're going to, they're going to trial down the street. I'm gonna be in the courtroom. I'm, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like our man head out of them. I will absolutely be in the courtroom. Shout out to me. 
I'm going to bring you there, the information live. 30 brothers, you know some of them are going to start snitching. So I asked Gerardo, I was like, Gerardo, can Dion Janeiro, can she cooperate? He says, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. She can start explaining the roles with everybody in the room, everybody in that villa. Oh. She can start telling them all, telling prosecutors what all of them did. Mm-hmm. Right? So now it's getting uh -huh. Because Gerardo just told us that the maximum for this, for the aggravated femicide anywhere from 25 to 50 years, who thinks... Dion John can 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 spend fifty years in a Mexican prison. I don't think. She oh no, she ain't finna spend no. I'm too fine for this. I'm too I'm too pretty for this. I'm a I'm a queen. I'm a black queen. You know I, I I'm not supposed to spend all this time in no jail cell. You know what I'm saying for this. You know what I'm, I'm a black queen. You know you know oh yeah she a black queen. Yeah, a black queen. You mother. What? You motherfucking lame. That's why you had. That's why you had said what you had. She can spend five. <laughs> I hope she hit it. She. She gonna snitch on everybody. Oh man, she gonna roll. She gonna roll like the thunder, in 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 the man. She gonna roll like the the thunder that that God produced. Here we go. It. it Hey, she going to roll like the thunder that God produced. I'm trying to tell you right now. You know what I'm saying? Put a yes in the chat if you think Dijon is going to snitch. Put a no in the chat if you think she's a baller. Oh, she was so hardcore uh, beating up uh, Shanquilla, right? Dijon was so hardcore. Oh, man. Woo, man. Did he just not tell something real? Oh, man. This little masculine ass bitch thought she was so fucking hard beating up somebody. She thought she was so. Yeah, I've been. Hey, which? Hold on. Oh no, no, no. I I had it right. My bad. Hold on, hold on. This is what she was. Yeah, I've been. Hey, which one of y'all's came? Who is this fool, man? Who wanna know? <laughs> A friend, homie. She thought she was so hard. Oh, uh, homie. I, but guess hey, what? The Mexicans finna do. Me. They finna do this right here. Hey, well, check this out. I'm Alina's cousin, partner. She don't like the way you've been dogging her, and I don't either. Well, we, we, st we supposed to fight over a bitch? I think you need to watch who you calling a bitch, partner. Yeah, and I think you better watch who the fuck you fool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't oh, shit. 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 It's y'all here. That's who she thought she was. You know what I'm saying? Is uh uh you you better watch who you calling a bitch, partner. You know what I'm saying? Uh 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 uh, 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 uh that's my cousin Alina. You know, <laughs> man, that lame ass motherfucking piece. That lame ass. Oh my goodness, man. Do I have to get egregious with it? Fuck it. Yes, I will. That lame ass, bleeding with some mud ass bitch, getting what she deserves. Fuck her and her soul. Damn it, I said it, man. Damn it, I said it. It is time out for you people out there. It is time out for you individuals that don't want to sit here and do all this 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 dumb crap to people. But you know, I understand y'all got to do it because you know it is what it is, though. Yeah, we already know, but it's still time out for it. And it's not going to be tolerated anymore. Who cares anymore? It's not going to be tolerated, for real. Beating up Shanquella. Who thinks she's going to remain hardcore? Put a yes if you think she's going to snitch. Recordings just got better. Damn. Hey, it's... Hold on, yeah. I know she gonna snitch. Fuck the dumb shit. I know she gonna snitch. I'm telling you right now. You think, no, my girl's hardcore. 
Dijon gonna spread like mustard. <laughs> she gonna spread more than mustard. Let me tell you something. Due to the fact that the living conditions, that the living conditions are different in Mexico than they are in the United States. You know what I'm saying? For women and men, period. I'm talking about period. On that, on that board, it's an equal level. The living conditions in prison in Mexico are different than for the United States. You know what I'm saying? The United States take way better care of their fucking prisoners than, than Mexico do. <laughs> What's going to happen is they going to, after they meet her at the fucking border, they going to take her to, to, to one of them jails, one of them prisons. And then they going to have her in there for like a goddamn day or two. And she is though. She going to actually see how this shit really rolls down there. And oh my. And what the French toast is there to think about? It ain't going to be a damn thing to think about at that point. I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm trying to tell you right now. She going to try to get the, man, she going to try to get the less time she can get down there. She not in America, and she about to she about to have a rude awakening, especially because she is an American woman that's been living in this fucking delusion that we got over here in America that women are engaged in now. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about dating and things like that in relationships with women. Women are in such a mass delusion that they think that they can just do any damn thing on the fucking planet. And it's going to be okay, you know what I'm saying, because they are women. I'm telling you right now. And this young lady about to see something totally fucking different. She about to have a fucking awakening that, you know, only God can give a motherfucker. You see what I did there? <laughs> All right, so let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Here we go. All right. So can she cooperate? Can she cooperate to get a lighter sentence? Yes, ese 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 procedimiento es para que ella pueda tener una pena menos severa. Yes, she can do that. She can cooperate to get a lesser sentence. A los demás que participaron, ¿no? Este, claro que sí lo puede hacer. Yes, she can do it. Tiene ese derecho a sí. And see, that's the sad part. That's the sad part. What? To me, that's the sad part. Real talk, because she the one to actually get. She the one actually dealt the the fatal blows. She dealt the fatal blows. You know what I'm saying? But she able, but because she got pulled in first, she she'll be able to get a lesser sentence. And what the French toast is there to think about? Not a damn thing, man. This shit trivial out here. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Real talk. That's the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Man, all right. Look. She has the right, if she wants to cooperate with the authorities, she can receive a benefit. Uh, the law that's applied against her, her sentence will be a little less severe. Because if she can say that this was all planned by everybody or one or two people, then if it's like that and she cooperates, she's going to have a sentence, a lighter sentence. And I guarantee you, that's what's going to go down. She about to spill. I already told y'all, I've am i been adamant about the situation at hand that this young lady was plotted on from the, from the damn door, from the door. They plotted on, they plotted on what they was going to do in that room when she got in that room. Great Scott. I know this is heavy. These were not fucking friends, man. 
and we want to sit here and give these people some sympathy. I'm, I ain't got no sympathy for none of them folks. I ain't got no sympathy for this bleeding ass bitch that's about to get her ass sent to Mexico. You know what I'm saying? I hope her menstrual cycle get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I ain't got no sympathy for them dudes. They they finna get caught too. Ain't ain't no sympathy for them. They about to uh get all types of burritos uh uh shoved up all types uh, of places. Uh, uh, you know uh, what I'm man. saying? And and and, 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 and yeah, that's just it. That's just it. Screw them and screw that. What I am so angry about, what I am so adamant about, what I am so uh, moved about is the fact of the distrust that you did try that, that you didn't show your so-called friend. You would, and then you even had the nerve to call this young lady's parents, and then want to sit there and tell all these lies to cover up the bullshit that you motherfuckers have done. But y'all want me to give these people respect. Oh, don't, oh, oh, don't call her a bleeder. Why you, why you calling her a bleeder? Why you calling this, why you calling this sap sucker a suck ass nigga? I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, we always, you know. We always get down on me and like talking about, but you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, the fact that I, you know, I put that out there like that about, you know what I'm saying, a woman. Everybody wanna sit here and think that, you know, I don't like women. <laughs> when you're wrong, you're fucking stupid. I respect ladies. I respect ladies that carry themselves with grace, honor, trust, and respect. Let that shit soak in. Honor, trust, respect. Not these damn dingbats that want to sit around here and think that they women because they because they bleed once a damn month. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Now, you can sit there and try to, you know what I'm saying, act a certain type of way if you want to. But no. Why you think Why you think these people's parents are not trying to speak up for them? Why you think these people, uh, other loved ones or friends or anything like that, not trying to speak up for them? Man, because they know, what, they know who these people are. They know how egregious these people could get. But everybody want to sit here and think that this shit is a damn game. And they did that young lady dirty down there. That young lady thought she was around fucking friends, man. She thought she was around friends. Miss Robinson, she thought she was around fucking friends, man. You know, but come to find out she wasn't. And the, and the whole world knows it now. That's the reason why at the end of the day, once they ship this, once they ship this, uh, this little girl down there, this, this, uh, supposed to be, uh, lady or whatever, whatever she's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, let's just keep it real. You know, whatever she's supposed to be. Once they ship her ass down there, you know what I'm saying? And she get a few days in that Mexican, Mexican prison and see how it's totally different from any type of American treatment that she would ever get. Oh, man. The shit. The steamroll going to start rolling. And I guarantee you, before she even get there, it's probably going to start rolling. Because she ain't built that motherfucking way. Real talk. Her soul, her heart. She had a... She American born ass woman. She ain't built that way. Ain't none of these women over here built that way. You ain't built right, bitch. Real talk. But it is what it is though, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm glad to see that justice is prevailing. You know what I'm saying? And I already know, you know what I'm saying, that this young lady about to, she about to talk. You know what I'm saying? You know, even though she's the she's the one that dealt the final, the fatal blows, real talk, you know? 
she's the one that dealt the fatal blows, you know, which they caught up with her first. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she gonna start rolling and things like that though. But you know, in my eyes, they need to, they need to keep all them motherfuckers down there. You know what I'm saying? For real though. Who, who wants them? Who wants them people running through society like that? You know what I'm saying? It, you know your fake ass friends. Who who wants them type of people running through society? Who really does? You know. But you know, I know you know out there. You know, you fake ass motherfuckers ain't gonna understand this shit because y'all gonna have too much fucking sympathy in the first goddamn place. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, all y'all sympathetic ass motherfuckers out there. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's just. Great Scott. I know this is heavy. Oh yeah, it, it, it's heavy for you motherfuckers out there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to sit there, you know, and shit. To be honest with you, all these motherfuckers deserve is. <laughs> and that's just real. 100%. But it is what it is, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my subscribers. Real talk. Keep subscribing to my channel. You know, mad love to everybody, band, and uh, yeah, this is a sad situation that shouldn't have even went down, but we understood. But this is this is also a great understanding moment for you individuals out there, knowing who your fucking real friends are. You know what I'm saying? Is is the utmost best thing that you could do for your life if you decide to have friends, unless you, you know, I mean, you know, everybody gonna have some friends. <laughs> You know, some type of, of friend or something. But, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it, man. Man, this is sad. This is ridiculous, man. But it is what it is, though, man. Shout out to everybody. Like I always say about this time, man. That, my friends, is the bottom line.